Got a Photoshop question? Brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals. It's Ask Dave. This time around, the question comes from Cindy Goff, who says, I read a couple things that said, save a selection. What does that mean and what can I do with it? Well, the whole idea behind saving a selection is when you've made a selection and you want to be able to have access to it on a regular basis. So here, for example, I'll just make a quick selection using the quick selection tool to get us started. And get rid of this part. Now, it's, it's not bad, but I want to refine a little bit. This has really got nothing to do with the save a selection part, but I just want to try and make a better selection for you as an example here. So this is the way I would probably do something like this and then can look at it as the mass to see what I'm going to get. Okay, so at this point, let's just output it to a selection. So let's assume we just have a selection, so there's no separate layer, there's no layer mask, and I want to be able to come back to this later on. So I want to continue working on this project at a later time. So I go into the Select menu and I choose Save Selection. When I do that, it comes up with this dialog box and one of the main options here is New Channel, and that happens by default. There's no other option when it's the first time, and down here it's also saying New Channel. Now you don't have to name it, because if you just leave it blank and click OK, and I'll just deselect that, now what happens when I go to the Channels panel, here's this thing called the Alpha Channel. So that named that automatically. Alpha means addition, in addition to the ones that are already there, so red, green, blue. Now if I look at it, you'll see it looks just, there's our mask. It's basically a black and white mask. Now if I save this document in a format like a PSD, that means every time I open it, if I want to use that selection again, I don't have to do it over again. In fact, I don't have to even see the channels panel because what I can do is just go to the select menu and now choose load selection. It's going to say what do you want to load and you choose alpha one and click OK. Now, if you do happen to be able to see the channels panel, then you just command or control click right on the thumbnail for the alpha channel and it makes the selection. Now, one thing that I would say is, let's say for the sake of argument that I, not that I would necessarily do this of course, but let's say that I tweaked the selection somehow to adjust some of the edges. Well, if you now go back and choose save selection, pay close attention because by default, it's assuming you want a new channel where in fact, you, you might want to do is override the existing one if this is going to be your new saved selection. That's a choice you'll have to make. The real point I'm trying to make is that by default, it assumes new channel each time. Whereas if I want to say, no, I'd prefer this to override the existing alpha one, then you can do that and choose replace channel and then it will update. The only downside to saving selections as alpha channels is the more channels you have, the bigger your file gets and the longer it might take. But this is a really nice way, especially if you've taken some time to create a selection to have it easily accessible anytime you need it by saving your selection as an alpha channel. I'm Dave Cross. See you next time. Ask your short Photoshop question using the contact form here at Kelby TV or through Twitter at Dave Cross. Thanks for watching Ask Dave, brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals and the Dave Cross Workshops. We'll see you next time.